Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the difference between final, finally, and finalized keywords in Java. So this is part of a playlist for Oops for interview, and this is day five for this particular playlist. So uh, last year I started this playlist wherein I have already posted four videos on the object-oriented questions which are very commonly asked in the interview. For due to some reasons i was unable to continue at that time but now i have i will be continuing and i will be posting around four to five more videos regarding these topics only regarding the questions which are very commonly asked in the oops in the interview question for freshers okay so if you're not visited the playlist till now and if you do not know where from where to prepare your oops concepts then you can you can visit our playlist you can say that you can see here that the views are really good i have posted four videos till now and views are approx 8 8, uh, 8 000 so the, uh, this particular playlist has really helped many of the people and you can also visit this playlist for your information okay so now this is the day 5 of our oops interview question wherein i will be discussing the difference between final finally and finalized keywords so first of all these particular keywords are present in the java language okay and how this video will go on first of all i will tell you the definition of each of the each of these keywords then i will tell you the uh, code for each of the keyword wherein uh, wherein you will get a better understanding that how these keywords are working actually okay so i hope now all these things are clear to you now let's just start the video but before starting the video please show us some support and please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for our channel okay so let's begin this video okay so the first keyword is the final keyword now what is the final keyword the final keyword in java is used to restrict the user the java final keyword can be used in many contexts Final keyword can be used in variable in defining the methods as well in the classes. So at three places, final keyword can be used. That is variable, method, and class. So how the final variable can be used in variable, method, and class? Let's just see now. Okay. Now if the final keyword is given to a variable, if you make any variable as final, you cannot change the value of that final variable. Okay. It will be the it will be constant. It will be treated as constant. So this was just a definition of final variable. That is if you give a variable final keyword then you cannot change the uh, you cannot change that keywords uh, that variables value let us say uh, let us see with the example of code okay so here in the first example you can see here we have our class okay and we have given this x variable x value as final keyword okay so it it is in text but this variable is final and we have given as 10 as the value now what we are doing we are in this particular function we are changing this x value to 11 okay now if we will run run this program if we will try to run this program then it will give us the error that is the compile time error so let's just see what it gives so here you can see that error is it is a compile time error it is giving cannot assign a value to a final variable because final variables are given their value when they are declared okay now if we will remove this particular this particular keyword and then we will try to run then again it will not give us any error because now this variable x is not a final uh, uh, final variable we can now change the value of this particular variable so you can see here nothing has been printed as the output and no error has been come because it is not a final variable so i hope now the definition of the final variable is clear to you that way once we have given the value we cannot assign a new value to that variable okay so i hope now this thing is clear to you next thing in which we can use our final keyword is the method if you make any method as final you cannot override it so i i hope you know the concept of inheritance if you do not know i have made a video on the four pillars of oops you can visit that we don't know about inheritance so now once if you have given a particular method as a final method then you cannot override it let's just see with the help of the code only it will be better understanding so here is the uh, example so here we can see we have a class bike okay in this particular bike class we have a method called run and we have given that method as a, uh, a final keyword okay and in this particular method what we are doing we are simply printing system.out.println running okay next uh, next particular class is honda class which is extending this bike class because method for method overriding uh, a class needs to inherit another class so therefore we are extending this particular class now again in this honda class also there is a method called void run we are simply overriding it because see if there are if a method is it with the same name in the base class as well as in the parent class then we can call it as a method overriding okay so now again we are trying to override this method run in this honda class which is extending the bike class which already has our final run method okay 
now this is doing some operations okay now if we try to run this particular now if we try to run this particular uh, code it will give us the error that is the final method cannot be uh, overridden so let's just see what is the output of this particular program let's just wait okay so here you can see that error it is again a compile time error uh, run method in honda cannot override run in bike why because the overridden method is final so by this we are clear that if a method is final in the parent class we cannot override that particular method in the child class so i hope now this second thing with the final variable is clear to you okay if you make any method as final you cannot override it i hope this particular thing is clear to you now final place wherein we can use our final keyword is the class now if you make any class as final you cannot extend it or you can simply say you cannot inherit it you cannot inherit it so if a particular class is given as a is given a final keyword then you cannot inherit that class okay so let's just again see with the help of an example here only okay now we have uh, what we have so we have a class bike again okay and we have made this class as a final class that is our bike class is the final class that means it cannot be inherited now what if we try to inherit that class so we have a class honda which is trying to inherit the class bike and again it is doing some operations in its own so let's just try to run this particular class and see what will happen uh, so again uh, it will give us error but it, what error it will give since the class is final we cannot inherit we cannot inherit that class so again you can see that error is coming cannot inherit from the final bike okay so if we remove the final keyword from our bike class then what will happen then simply the entire program will run and this thing will be uh, this uh, thing will be given given to us as an output let's just see now let's just run the code and it will give it will give us the output as running safely with 100 km per hour let's just see what it will give so you can see that now no error is coming simply an output is coming on the screen so this was the use of the final keyword we can use final keyword at three places one with the variable you cannot change the value of the final variable it is treated as constant next thing is with final method you cannot override the final method okay in the base class next final thing is the final class you cannot inherit you cannot inherit the final class this is the use of final keyword only and it is used at three places i hope now with the help of the code these three things with the final keyword is clear to you okay now let's just move towards the next keyword that we are uh, seeing in this video that is the finally keyword okay so first of all what is the finally keyword java finally block is a block used to execute important code such as closing the connection etc etc okay let just let me just read the definition then i will uh, take you to the code for the better understanding okay next is java finally block is always executed whether an exception is handled or not therefore it is it contains all the necessary statement that needs to be printed regardless of the exception occurs or not this is a bookish definition but i will make sure that you understand with the help of the code okay so let's just see with the help of the code here okay now see where the finally keyword is used we you must have uh, heard a term that is known as the exception handling so in exception handling try and catch are the very common keywords that are used but in java there is one more keyword that is finally keyword so what happens is that after try catch that is once we have handled the exception or once we have not handled the exception we give us the we give the finally block now this the uh, the uh, statements that we write in this finally block will always be executed this thing you must note will always be executed uh, even if the exception is occurred or if the exception is not occurred they, uh, in both the cases finally block will run the statements written in the finally block will run okay so let's just again see with the help of an example we have our int x is equal to 25 and we are simply in the try block what we are doing we are doing x is equal to x divided by 5 that is we are updating this value of x uh, we are updating this value of x to the x divided by 5 that is 25 divided by 5 is 5 only okay and if any exception occurred here it will be caught by the catch block and then finally the finally block will be running so let's just see in this particular case no exception will occur because there is no such error that is present in the try block let's just see here so if we run this block uh, simply what will happen uh, this particular finally block will run because in try block no exception has occurred so if no exception has occurred catch block will not run and finally block will be running because irrespective of the fact whether exception is occurring or not finally block runs so in this particular example uh, this thing will be printed that is inside finally will be printed you can see here inside finally has been printed so in this case no exception has occurred in the try block but still finally block was running okay now let's just see the case wherein the 
exception has occurred in the try block okay then whether the final final block will run or not let's just see that so we are doing x divided by 0 so again we all know that it will give us the uh, it will uh, give us the divide by 0 exception okay so once we uh, run this particular code this try will run it will throw an exception this exception will be caught by this catch block okay uh, so first of all inside this catch block we will go okay and then i have told you that whether our exception occurred or not this finally block will run so we have seen the case wherein try block exception did not occur then again finally block was running now in this case uh, the exception will occur in the try block then you will see that again our finally block was finally block will be running so in this case what will be output first of all catch block will be hitted because try block has thrown an exception so first of all inside catch block will be printed and then final block is printed uh, final block is executed whether or not our uh, whether or not our exception has occurred or not so you can see here first of all inside catch block we are going because try block has thrown an exception and once that exception was handled then again we are going inside the finally block so i hope now the things are clear finally block will always be executed whether or not there is exception in the try block or not okay so i hope now this particular keyword is also clear to you these are very important questions as per the interview is concerned if you are a fresher these questions will be definitely asked from you different between final finally and last thing is last thing is finalize so again in finalize only there is no such code explanation that you will get you simply have to give the definition of this finalize keyword so finalize method in java is a method of object class that is used to perform cleanup activity before destroying an object so it is generally used in the garbage collection so once this once an object is about to destroy okay once the life cycle of object is over then uh, it is uh, the finalize method is used to perform the cleanup operations okay cleanup operations it is used to perform okay so i hope now all these things are clear to you all these three keywords are clear to you with the help of code and you will be able to explain them to the interviewer and guys again i'm saying you if you have not subscribed to the channel till now please subscribe it because more such informative videos regarding interviews specific to interviews i will be posting in future i will be posting dbms things also sql things also some uh, os things also so do subscribe this channel and please comment in the comment section your uh, ideas or suggestions that what type of videos i can uh, make so that you can get benefit out of those okay so i hope now these three keywords are clear to you again i am telling you that we have a playlist on our channel in which we have uh, dedicated our oops for interview playlist that will be in this we will discuss the questions which are specifically very commonly asked in the oops interviews okay so i hope now the, all these things are clear to you please hit the like button and the subscribe button for this channel and do comment your suggestions in the comment section okay so i hope now these three things that these three keywords were clear to you in this video and guys thank you for watching this video